Is the electric unicycle getting banned? Every single week, there seems to be another thread on the EUC forum predicting the inevitable demise of our favorite hobby. There is such a thing as good grief. Let's ask Charlie Brown. And with numerous and sometimes fatal lithium battery fire happening all across the country. Those batteries causing more than 200 fires in New York City alone last year. The doom prediction seems very real this time. Will government regulation turn that brand new $4,000 wheel purchase you just made into a very expensive paperweight? This week, let's talk about the electric unicycle band. Roll the intro. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and help spread the good word on electric unicycle. For those who may not be familiar with electric unicycles, they're actually pretty simple machine. An electric hub motor with a single wheel, inside of an enclosure with lithium ion battery packed for power, and a controller board to keep it self-balanced and to regulate the voltage output. You control it by body motion, leaning forward to accelerate and back to brake. They are very maneuverable and surprisingly fast and very powerful. And whole lot of fun to ride. So much so that for people who love riding an electric unicycle, there's probably no greater fear than the possibility of not being able to ride one in the future. Which is why early on the sentiment were, I kid you not, to keep electric unicycles secret. I even got flack for just making videos because people thought that I would bring unnecessary attention to a hobby so fun and enjoyable that it could not possibly be legal. Which is also why I decided to add the tagline at the end of every single one of my video that the only way for us to get better wheel is for us to grow as a community. And anything that may bring media attention to EUCs like aggressive and high-speed group rides through traffic were viewed as terrible and the New York City EUC rider group caught most of the heat since earlier on they seemed to be the one posting all the crazy street ride videos. And it all came to a boil when Mick aka EVX, a fellow EUC YouTuber here in New York organized an Ellie Cat race, which is an unsanctioned street race through live traffic here in New York City back in May of 2021. The community backlash came swift and furious and Mick had to take down the race video he made and eventually gave up on making more EUC videos altogether. And that wasn't the end of it either as more recently, the ride video Declan posted on his run in the annual Broadway Bomb Street Race once again garners similar strong emotions. Putting aside the morality of the matter, and I'm gonna let the internet commenter argue it out, neither event received any publicity whatsoever. My own suspicion being that, unfortunately here in New York City, traffic accident and fatality is rather normalized, with an average yearly toll of more than 250, as heartless as it may sound, even if a pedestrian were to have been struck and killed during the event, it probably still wouldn't have made the news. It simply happens so often here and people are so desensitized towards the death that even the novelty of the involvement of an electric unicycle probably still wouldn't have garnered it any media attention. And with dirt bikes and ATV gangs rolling through the streets hundreds of deep, police have been reluctant to intervene for safety reasons. Honestly, a speeding electric unicycle rider cutting through traffic and running lights almost seems quaint by comparison. But before anyone start blaming the bleeding heart liberals or the lack of law and order and enforcement here in the city, let me just say that traffic fatality remain the leading cause of death here in this US of A. And growing up American, I have always learned that sex is bad, but violence on the other hand is mm-mm. Speaking of which, I also must remind you that this is a country where guns are legal and somehow school shooting has become a regular occurrence. And as a result, I personally find it a little bit difficult to believe that the government is going to blanket ban entire category of a vehicle just because of the irresponsible action of a few. On top of that, they are exactly great at regulating anything that has to do with technologies. I've seen their attempt at regulating the 
internet and has done nothing to prevent Facebook or Google from selling all of our private data to the shadiest of Bitcoin scammers for profit. And I doubt things are any different here. I honestly think that electric unicycle along with things like cloud computing sits in this category of abstract concept that our esteemed elected official simply could not grasp. The internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes. How does that show up on a seven-year-old's iPhone who's playing a kid's game? Congressman, uh, iPhone is made by a different company and so, you know, I mean... Uh... But fire, on the other hand, is something that even your typical out-of-touch millionaire senator could understand to be a problem. And the multitude of lithium battery fire happening all across the country has prompted action from both governmental and private organizations. I'm sure everyone remember the ban on hoverboard after very similar fire incidents. So the question is, would the same thing happen? happens to electric unicycle and will it bring about the end to our favorite hobby? Well, 2015, the year the hoverboard blew up, figurative and literally, was a very different time for EVs. Tesla had only just started to produce their Model S in larger quantities and electric power transport of any kind were still mostly novelties. When fire broke out because of poorly made battery pack built into knockoff hoverboards, it was easy for the Consumer Safety Commission to ban a single product category and enforce it since there were few other devices that ran on similarly large lithium battery pack at the time. But eight years later, lithium battery now power a wide range of consumer devices from portable refrigerator to our beloved electric unicycles. And yes, poorly constructed lithium iron battery pack is still spontaneously a igniting, endangering houses and lives, except that they're now doing so from a much wider range of devices and vehicles, with e-bike fire vastly outnumbering just about everything else, mostly due to their far greater number, and as a result, any regulation that's seeking to solve this problem will also impact a much wider swath of the population. And with e-bike sales on track to hit a million this year, and potentially exceeding even that of an electric car, I'm a little bit skeptical of any politician's willingness to piss off businesses and large chunk of their core constituencies who may have recently purchased an expensive and environmentally friendly personal electric vehicle with a van and their laws being proposed requiring all new electrical devices and vehicles to comply with appropriate fire resistant UL ratings which sounds nice in theory but I couldn't help but be skeptical that sounds how the same set of politicians who can't seem to manage to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and schoolyard shooters would somehow be able to ensure specification compliance for the millions and millions of devices being sold. Will the battery police come knocking door to door demanding to inspect your electric unicycle to ensure that the battery pack inside has the appropriate UL certification? And when they seize any personal property that does not comply with their regulations, is this going to be a war on lithium? Maybe something like this would fly in China or even EU, but somehow I'm skeptical that the freedom-loving American will stand for such government overreach. New York City had attempted similar e-bikes ban back in 2020. Reckless delivery riders disobeying traffic rules and fire risks originally prompted the regulation, but the fact that it disproportionately and impacted worker providing a critical food delivery service, especially during the pandemic, that also happened to consist mostly of minorities, quickly made it incredibly unpopular. Can you imagine the police station attempting to order takeout all the while their own police are actively confiscating the e-bike and ticketing the people who are delivering their dinners? No soup for you! Come back! 
one year. To no one's surprise, the ban was overturned just two years later. And any private companies attempting to create similarly broad electrical vehicle bans will encounter the same set of problems. And I've certainly heard instances of large commercial or residential landlord either considering or starting to ban electric bicycles, scooters, and unicycles from their properties. I think the fundamental problem they will encounter is that by disallowing a popular and desirable item, they're also alienating their existing tenants and driving away potential customers, which tend not to be a successful business strategy. If the landlord had to weight the unknown potential risk of lithium battery fire against the very real risk of losing their tenant and potential revenue streams, I wonder which way they're going to fall in that discussion. There is also the questions of enforcement. Will the doorman, if there is one, bar the resident from entering their own home if they were caught with the e-bike? And if that were to happen, what would people do? Are they expecting that their tenant is just going to toss out their recently purchased and very expensive electric vehicle. A few years ago, Kelly had a surgery at the downtown hospital right here. I went with her to keep her company, but when I entered the lobby right there, I was told by the security guard that the 9BOT Z10 I had with me was not allowed. And I told him that my wife is about to have a surgery in 30 minutes and I have to stay with her. And he refused to budge. Kelly starts to freak out and having no choice i told him well then i guess i have to throw my scooter out i walked out here placed my wheel right on the sidewalk and then i went back at which point another security guard who saw our distress came in and said it's not right for you to treat these poor people this way and he finally cracked and agreed to allow me to leave the z10 behind the receptionist desk i'm sure i wasn't the first nor the last to encounter this problem at that hospital with the majority of the delivery in the city made on either e-bikes or electric unicycles unless accommodations are made conflicts will continue to happen the electrification of our transport system is the future i don't think we're arguing about that anymore and the use of lightweight personal electric vehicles like e-bikes scooters and electric unicycle is an integral part of that and we're too far down that road and the benefit too great for us to ever go back and I also don't think that regulation would be the thing that make PEV safe. I personally believe that ultimately the fire risk is going to be solved by the market. And the fact that people who buy these products very much prefer not to have their home go up in flame. And so as long as they recognize the risk, would do the appropriate research and through the good old voting with their wallet, force companies to produce better and safer product in the end. And I totally get that the regulatory situation varies all over the world and that there are places like Germany and UK where entrenched interest has done an excellent job killing off as much of the new mobility tech as they are able to. But they can only hold back progress for so long because for us electric unicycle rider, we all know with certainty that this is the future and it is just a matter of time before everyone else will come around to see it also. with PEV regulation and do you think it is exactly what we need or too little too late? Well, that is what the comment section below is for. And you know what? Once again, I ramble on too long and somehow managed to waste another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend, teach them how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you. <laughs>